Now to the latest in the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. This morning in the southeast, millions of Americans are still without power after the storm blew through the region. Sadly, the storm is being blamed for at least 116 deaths across half a dozen states. That number is expected to rise. Nicole Valdez has more. Historic flooding from Helene submerged parts of western North Carolina underwater over the weekend. There was a whole house right there. <laughs> this Marshall, North Carolina woman says she fled after the waters reached waist deep. I was grabbing stuff. I have my three dogs in the car and my car was like almost underwater. The state's governor says rescue efforts are ongoing and that food, water and supplies are being airlifted to those stuck in the hardest hit areas. Oh, God. This video shows the moment a bridge in Tennessee collapsed into rushing floodwaters. She was ready to sink. On Tybee Island in Georgia, this man who goes by Huck Finn and his dog, Creedy, are hoping high tide carries them back out to sea after strong winds from Helene stranded their boat on the side of the highway. I thought we were supposed to die, so I had to cut anchor and it brought us here. This morning in South Carolina, dozens are dead after Hurricane Helene pummeled the state. One couple dead after a tree fell on their car. My cat is alive, my neighbors are alive, and we are helping each other. Massive recovery efforts are also underway in Florida. We want to be helpful to get this debris. While touring the devastation, the state's governor warned his state is not out of the woods just yet, with two more months left until hurricane season ends. Nicole Valdez, CBS News, South Carolina. President Joe Biden has declared a state of emergency for the southern states hardest hit by the storm. There are hundreds of FEMA officials also on the ground in the southeast.